be ready for the dictation. Five seconds to go. The jurisdiction of this court has been invoked by way of filing an application under Section 439 CRPC at the instance of accused petitioner. It is contended on behalf of the accused petitioner that no case for the alleged offences is made out against him and his incarceration is not warranted. There are no factors at play in the case at hand that may work against grant of bail to the accused petitioner and he has been made an accused based on conjectures and surmises. Contrary to the submissions of learned counsel for the petitioner, learned public prosecutor opposes the bail application and submits that the present case is not fit for enlargement of accused on bail. I have considered the submissions made by both the parties and have perused the material available on record. It is alleged that the petitioner was an aspirant of examination for recruitment of teacher and he had sent another person to appear in the exam in his place. The dummy candidate alleged to have appeared in the examination. The startling fact of the case would be that the candidate was not apprehended in the examination hall. Rather, the case was lost after one year for the examination. Thus, a strong arguable case exists in favor of the petitioner. There is high probability that the trial may take long time to conclude. In light of these facts and circumstances, it is deemed suitable to grant the benefit of bail to the petitioner in the present matter. Accordingly, the instant bail application under Section 439 CRPC is allowed and it is ordered that the accused petitioner as named in the cause title shall be enlarged on bail provided he furnishes a personal bond in the sum of rupees 50,000 with two sureties of rupees 25,000 each to the satisfaction of the learned trial judge for his appearance before the court concerned on all the dates of hearing as and when called upon to do so. A counter affidavit has been filed on behalf of the second respondent in which it is contended that the stand taken by the PSC is not justified because the information which was shot for would definitely come within the purview of the provisions of the Right to Information Act and that the PSC being a public authority would not have denied the same. It is further contended that the materials were deliberately being suppressed and the question papers of PSC examination were being listed in the official website. Instead of publishing the details, the petitioner chooses not to disclose the details by making an evasive stand that the question papers were not kept in the district office. According to the learned counsel, as per the schedule to the said rules, the question papers are not required to be kept in the office for more than a period of one month from the date of the examination. Therefore, learned counsel submitted that it is impossible for the petitioner to submit the information as required by the second respondent. Reliance is also placed on the judgment of the division bench of this court in Kerala Public Service Commission versus State Information Commission Kerala reported in 2011.